been many events in our nation's history which have impacted our psyche and created time stamp on our memory. The events of November 1963 were different. For the first time in history, we were able to experience these events as they unfolded. Camelot had ended. From Dallas to Washington to Arlington, we watched and now remember it as though it were yesterday. children, served as a lieutenant in the Navy during World War II, and later as a member of Congress from 1947 to 1960. Kennedy was the first president born in the 20th century, and the only one to win a Pulitzer Prize. He was the youngest person elected president. He was the youngest to die in office. The words of John F. Kennedy. Let the word go forth from this time and place to friend and foe alike that the torch has been passed to a new generation of Americans. Let every nation know that we shall pay any price 
bear any burden, meet any hardship, support any friend, oppose any foe in order to assure survival and success of liberty. This we pledge and more. Together, let us explore the stars, conquer the deserts, eradicate disease, explore the ocean depths, and encourage the arts and commerce. Since this country was founded, each generation of Americans has been summoned to give testimony to its national loyalty. Now the trumpet summons us again, not as a call to bear arms, not as a call to battle, but a call to bear burden of a long twilight struggle. A struggle against the common enemies of man, tyranny, poverty, disease, and war itself. In the long history of the world, only a few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom. The energy, the faith, the devotion which we bring to this endeavor will light our country and all who serve it. And the glow from that fire can truly light the world. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country.